they got rid of all the junk. Right. We cleaned house. My suggestion. Yeah. I told her, don't worry. LTM, <laughs> listen to Mario. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Hello everybody, the Lopez's are here. So we recently remodeled our kitchen and we thought we'd give you a tour, so let's go. Okay, so this is officially my new favorite spot in the house. What started off being really dark and felt really small has just become so open and airy. And hopefully it'll motivate her to spend more time in the kitchen and actually it's prepare so meals. It's so light that I can't cook in here because everything gets really <laughs> dirty, which was my plan. Um, but yeah, I just want to tell you a little bit about how it evolved to what it has become. So my goal for this home, the whole house in general, um, since we moved in, was to lighten it up, but still keep the dark wood, the dark floors, most of the dark floors, um, and keep a lot it of the Spanish keep feel. it the Spanish feel on a lot of the things that were original to keep that stuff, the original stuff. Because our home happens to be uh, a historic home, very old, built like in 1926. Our home was designed by a guy named Peter Dam, mm -hmm. who was a German immigrant mm -hmm. and he happened to have been the inventor of the armored car mm -hmm. believe it or not which is kind of cool because he could have invented something not so cool but so now uh, every time i see an armored car i always say hi peter there it is the hardest part was convincing my husband and what i was trying to tell him verbally of what i wanted to do with the kitchen because when i would say white cabinets and a white countertop, he became very afraid. So that he sounds modern. Very afraid. And it, did, it, like it did sound modern. It did sound modern. But then I hired this incredible designer because there's. First, I started doing it on my own, and then it just became so overwhelming that I was losing my mind. So I had to have somebody guide me in the right direction and to really give me that vision because I don't know where to go to look for stuff. And so I found this inspiration picture and he captured every single thing in that picture and I think you're happy, right? Yeah, ended up being uh, happy, but somehow the in debt. kitchen, <laughs> well, the kitchen remodel ended up sort of going into the foyer, going into the living room, well, yeah, the bathroom, and it spilled over. For people that have remodeled at home. We're not going to show you that today. Though, once you do <laughs> one room, then the next room, the paint doesn't match, and then it bleeds into the next room, and it's just a trickle effect. So yeah. basically, our whole house has had, it's been repainted, and it's just in great shape, and I feel really good. And we're cleaning out closets. I mean, we are just doing it. Let me start with the arch here. So we made the entrance to the kitchen a little bigger and originally we had picked to put cabinets right here. Yeah. There was a wall here actually. Remember? Yeah, there was a wall here and we, we broke the wall and we were going to have cabinets here and after we saw for a while how open. That was my suggestion. One of my two suggestions that I had that was that was you a, liked. It was a very good suggestion. Um, Let's open it up. And my inspiration picture had this arch in the kitchen. So it literally is, my kitchen is my inspiration picture. I was worried, so when we got rid of these cabinets here, I thought, my God, I'm losing all this cabinet space. Here, I have like five empty cabinets that have nothing in it. And I actually love looking at it because I got rid of all the junk. So the countertops. This is quartz, it's man-made. Basically meaning indestructible. I decided to go with a darker countertop along the kitchen and go with a lighter, um, island because it makes it look like it's floating and it makes it look like it's kind of invisible okay. and, and not there. I absolutely love this countertop. I still got my gray, but I just, I love how it's, it's a heavier piece and it really breaks up all the light in here. This I love because I used to have red accents in the kitchen and I've gotten rid of the red, but I didn't have to get new appliances because I can hide them in here. And this, I, I haven't looked to see what this looks like yet, but I have to show you. This second row is all Frenchie mugs. All Frenchie mugs. I mean, I have a problem. I don't care, I admit it. And the kid mugs on top and of And then the, the kid mugs. mugs. Every year I make um, mugs of my kids from their Christmas pictures or from a special occasion. And I get them for their grandparents. I get them for our sisters. So we have this huge, beautiful window with such a beautiful view. Which, which was my idea. Which, Let's give credit. Because she thought, again, she was going to lose 
too much cabinet space, I said, no, you got to take advantage of this view here. Yes. So he thank right. you, LTM. You're right. You're right. Right. Listen to right. Um, but with the help of my designer, because I don't know how to frame it and because it's a lot of space. It's a lot of dead space. He made this beautiful frame, if you will, like it's a picture. This is one of my favorite things in the kitchen, the sink. It is a farm sink, but it's hammered metal. So it's that heaviness, again, it's so, I knew Mario would like it and the, the island also matches my preparation sink when I'm cooking, when I'm cutting things. Over here, I have my new range hood. I didn't have a range hood before, it's the, the little things. The range hood when we moved into the house came up from behind the stove top. And so this is new for me, so I, I absolutely love this. This used to be where we had our desk. So we reconfigured the kitchen. And we put the stove top over here, we put the desk over there. So it's more, you know, designed for... More practical. More piece. practical. Nice. More practical. And then I cook right here, and then I get my spices right here. What's good about remodeling the kitchen? And you get the hot spices. Slap your mama. Slap your mama. <laughs> I had to clean out everything because the, the time that it took to redo this kitchen, I just had to throw everything away. So I'm starting over with all my spices and my pantries are organized. It's really great. This is the original pantry door that was here. We just repainted it. So this is our breakfast nook. We never had a place to sit as a family besides the island or the dining room. Um, and just have dinner. So having this is so nice. This is our electronic free section. We don't have a TV here, no iPads, and we sit here, we play games, we talk about our day, we just act silly. This is my laundry room. I did not have a laundry room before. I had a little tiny closet that was right here where I just had a washer and dryer. So I just have a room where I can make a mess, make piles, darks, whites, colors, close it, and guests don't see it if I don't want them to. And I like it. This is my other pantry, which like I said, is not organized yet. I still have a lot of things. I have all of, you know, the kids' medicine, our medicine, my favorite things that I take every day, the alkali Alchemind, and just more dog toys, wipes, paper towels, that kind of stuff. I need to get to the container store. And so on this side are more cabinets, refrigerators, and like I said, I got to organize everything and just purge so many things that, you know, we've had for so many years and yeah. give to people that would use them. And then over here, we made this into a little desk area, um, which is nice, because it's kind of away from all the cooking and the kids just sit here, they do stuff on the computer. It's a nice little area. Yeah, right? another little nook. So I hope you guys like my new kitchen. Let me know if you like it in the comments below and please subscribe. Thank you, bye. Bye, say bye.